Welcome to Abbey Town. Today behind me I've got the most beautiful um, old period property which has been extended over the years. This is the Forge and inside this property we've got a host of bedrooms, reception rooms and we've got some incredible um, living spaces. I'm quite excited to show you this one but um, before I do so, before we go inside I'm going to just spin the camera around and show you the street scene. So we sit in a fantastic corner plot in the heart of the village. We've got the Abbey that sits just behind us here so we've got a fantastic outlet look and we've got a home here which is beautifully presented throughout we're only a few miles away from Wigton and we're close to Silith and the Solway coast and you're in a very accessible location a home which is a complete hardy so you can't really see what's going on in here until you get inside so let's go and have a look inside this fantastic property so what a pretty front door and a fabulous garden. You'll see that as we come around um, at the end of the video. But let's go inside and have a look at these spaces because this home really, um, it's lovely from the front and externally it looks very, very pretty. However, the spaces inside are absolutely um, incredible so the vendors here have extended over the years have created a fantastic family home with everything that you should need so first part that we come into here is a boot room space for coat hanging space for boots and then as we come through this is giving you a little glimpse of what's to come we've got a lovely set of um, double doors here which open up into the most incredible dining kitchen living area which you can't see all of it just yet so what we have here if I pan my camera around is many many features so we've got a lovely exposed stone wall we've got shelving as we go up the stairs we've got a fantastic island unit which is filled full of storage place for seating re really sociable and fantastic living space here you've got lots of storage space integrated appliances and a real heart of this room um, you can imagine your family sitting around the table and just being so sociable um, but the room then extends through and the ceiling rises a little so we've got a lovely beamed ceiling with pendant lighting into a dining area which overlooks the garden now we've got a tiled floor extending through the whole of this space which makes it really consistent and we've got some lovely pantry units there and this is looking back at the kitchen a doorway taking us out to the rear and then extending through into a lovely lounge room. Now, this is um, perfect for modern families. You've got exposed stone walls. You've got a really nice mix of modern and contemporary features. Bifold doors, which go out onto the terrace, which you'll see towards the end of the video. But this will give you an idea that it's a very, very private garden here. Everything that you can see, the trampoline, the fence, the building there, um, the garage and the little cabin in the corner, that all is included. But wow, look at this space. It's absolutely beautiful. So lovely lounge, dining area, kitchen. Now from here, we can go in two directions. So I'm just gonna go back across to the other side of the kitchen. First of all, showing you those spaces. And to the left-hand side here, down the hallway, we've got a utility space which is fitted with loads more storage, space for white goods in here. And in that door at the bottom, we've got a WC. But across the hallway, we've got a more formal lounge. So um, perfect, again, for modern family living. You've got a stone, um, exposed stone wall here. You've got a lovely feature fireplace. This has got a really nice feel. So um, best of all worlds, really, you've got a lovely lounge, but you've also got that open pan living space, which is so popular. And you'll notice as we go around that many of the rooms have got dual aspect windows looking out over the garden space. So really beautiful lounge room. And then coming back across and beyond the island unit, we've got another small hallway here, which has got a storage cupboard under the stairs. A lovely area for bookshelving here and two more rooms. Now, I believe that these rooms were probably the um, part of the old forges, the original lounge rooms, um, but they've got flexible use. And again, this one's been used as a study space and we've got some shelving there. And this room here is being used as a playroom, but could be if you're looking for maybe another bedroom. This could be a bedroom on the ground floor if you want it to be. So a flexible use room with windows, with beam ceiling and with a lovely wooden floor. So there's so many rooms down here. I think I've counted about four reception rooms, which is super. Um, and the space upstairs doesn't disappoint either. So let's go upstairs and have a little look at the... Um, at the space up here now there's some features which i've held back from telling you about so far and they'll start to come into view now look at that beam 
it's absolutely beautiful. So this home's got a crook beam or two extending through the space, giving you loads of character, but not compromising on your space whatsoever. Off this hallway, we've got a number of bedrooms and bathrooms, but this is the principal bedroom just to the left-hand side here. And look at this space. I'm just going to shut the ensuite door for a second and step back and show you that beam. Wow. You don't get this in any other or many other houses. So with Velux windows, bringing the light in, lovely exposed stone walls, fantastic space with the addition of a wet room just to the side, which is beautiful. So a really stylish wet room with a loo and a hand basin, all beautifully presented with some stylish sanitary wear. And um, as you can see, it's a wet room, so you can just step in there and set off the shower. A great addition to this principal bedroom. Then coming back down, you see yet another beam. And coming around the corner here, we've got bedroom number two. Now, this is a great size double room. As you can see here, we've got another high ceiling, more dual aspect windows. This time we're looking out over the garden. So it's worth just looking down on that space there. So you can see that we're looking out over the garden. And this is a really good size double. Then under the eaves here, we've got a room which has been utilised as a bit of a laundry room, which is perfect for families. But again, if you're wanting more storage space or coat hanging space, you've got to, um, got plenty of that there. Then we've got the most beautiful bathroom. So you can see here we've got a lovely freestanding slipper bath, large walk-in shower, nice um, vanity units there. And if I turn the camera around, we've got the remainder of that beam which is running through this home. So sometimes people cover these over and block them in. This family hasn't done that and it really gives a really nice feel to this home. Down the hallway, as the turn in the landing, we've got another book space area with a standstone surround. We've got access into some loft space and we've got two more bedrooms here and a dressing room. Now, bedroom here, number three, another good sized room. Looking out the window again, down onto that garden space more beam ceilings, and there's lots of storage built into the eaves here with some um, sliding mirrored doors. Bedroom number four is just across the hallway. Very similar room, which is fantastic. And then we've got a dressing room, which has previously been used as a bedroom or a nursery. So this could be bedroom number five or a dressing room. You can see it's fitted with wardrobes at the moment. So an incredible home. It really doesn't look like this from the outside. It's a beautiful property from the outside. However, you don't get an idea about all these beams, about the spaces, about the light. It's absolutely gorgeous internally. And what's not to love as we go back downstairs about this fantastic open plan living dining kitchen area. So now let's go outside and have a look at the external spaces and you'll see that those don't, um, they, they're well proportioned. So we've got a large plot, lots of parking and lots more further potential out there. So let's go out there and have a little look now. So just coming from the dining area through the stable style door into a rear portrait, which has got a lovely set of tiles on the floor. Great place for wellies, boots, coats, everything that's mucky. And then we come out into the garden. Now this is an extensive plot. So just extending round, we've got the terrace that you saw from the lounge. We've got the lawn area. And then we've got this large garage here. This path round the side here takes us back around to the front. And as I come up onto this hard standing area, you can see we've got parking for a number of vehicles in here. It's gated parking and it extends round to the lawn at the front and then back down to the front gate where we came in. So loads of parking here for a family. Now there's also a suggestion that we've got a large building here, which is a garage. It's fitted with electricity, water, drainage, subject to the relevant planning consents. Is this something that could be converted into an ancillary building, perhaps into another bungalow or working from home space, or is it just useful as a large garage for storage of vehicles and all your stuff? So there's lots of flexible options here. It sits separately, so potentially it could have its own access in. Um, but there's a thought process there in case that's something that you wanted to explore. To the back of here, we've got a vegetable garden and a greenhouse. And we've also got a little cabin in the corner there, which is um, like a, a garden store. So a super home 
and this is the forge from the back so looks again very different from the front you can see we've even got room for a swimming pool um, but this is a fantastic home in an accessible location so I'm going to finish my video at the back of this home because this is what you didn't see from the start of the video. What an extensive property that's been extended over the years to create the most amazing family property. Now it's got large gardens, it's got the driveway, it's got this detached garage, it's got some fantastic spaces with those crook beams inside and the exposed stone and the fantastic number of, um, of reception rooms and flexible use bedrooms as well. So if you'd like more information on this wonderful property, um, please give us a call at 01768 88 and we'd love to give you some more information.